What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ronnie Pugs back again with another video for you guys. And so far on this channel, I've shared with you guys my favorite Spider Man suits, favorite writers, favorite artists, and even favorite video games. But I've never given you guys my official rankings of the Spider Man actors from my least favorite to favorite. So, with today's video, we're going to do exactly that rank the Spider Man actors in order from my least favorite to favorite. I enjoyed all three portrayals of the character that we've seen on screen. I don't dislike any of the actors' performances, this is just simply where they fall in my rankings. So with that out the way, let's get straight into this, my ranking of the Spider-Man actors from least favorite to favorite. I hope you guys enjoy. Coming in at number 3, my least favorite of the Spider-Man actors is Andrew Garfield. Now like I just said, I have no hate towards any of these actors, I enjoy each performance, this is just simply where they fall in my rankings. People always talk about Spider-Man being the most relatable character, and when I think of which portrayal relates to me the most, it's Andrew Garfield's. Andrew's Peter Parker isn't the stereotypical nerd Tobey Maguire's is or what we know from the comics, he's just someone who has a hard time meeting people he keeps to himself, and he doesn't have the confidence to be as outgoing as everyone else and he most certainly doesn't try to start trouble. To me, that's the Spider-Man I can relate to the most. I see myself in those personality traits, believe it or not. And he also gives off this sense of sarcasm when he's Spider-Man, which to me, if I was Spider-Man, that's how I'd be treating these criminals. I know some people didn't like Andrew's jokes as Spider-Man and thought he was being a dick, but y'all gotta understand, these are criminals he's taking on. They deserve to be treated like this. But sadly, Andrew's Spider-Man falls at number 3 for me because I don't get the sense of heroism that I get with the two remaining actors on this list. To me, it just seems like Andrew's Spider-Man is only Spider-Man because the story asked for it. Even when he first decides to use these powers, he's only going after one person. We don't see him helping anyone else while he's trying to hunt down Uncle Ben's killer. And with that, it doesn't really make sense for him to make a full Spider-Man costume if he's only going after one guy. It doesn't click with him that he should be using these powers for something more until the dinner at the Stacy's house. So coming in at number 3 is Andrew Garfield. I don't dislike his performance, this is just simply where he falls in the rankings. I would have loved to see what he could have done if he had better backing with his films. But overall, I did enjoy his performance and the Amazing Spider-Man movies are a reason why I'm here today. Coming in at number 2 is Tom Holland. Now I already know I'm about to get hate for this, but like I said at the start of the video, these are my rankings going by favoritism. If we were going by who does the best performance overall of both Peter and Spider-Man, it obviously goes to Tom Holland. But Tom Holland falls at number 2 for me because although I really enjoy what we've seen of him so far, the studio is trying to put a lot of emphasis on him being young and looking up to Tony Stark. I understand that they have to try something new to separate him from Andrew and Toby, but I feel like they're making him depend on the Avengers too much right now. From the looks of it, we are going to get a more adult Peter in the sequel thanks to the recent suit news and I am excited to see that but as of right now I just get the feeling that Peter's depending on the Avengers too much and not relying on himself. However Tom Holland does a great job at both Peter and Spider-Man. Like I just said if we were ranking by best performance overall he'd be number one. I remember before Civil War came out Tom said he was going to take the best elements from the previous Spider-Man actors and add his own twist and he wasn't lying when he said that. I definitely see both actors in his performance, he even looked a little like Toby in Civil War, and overall I'm a fan of Tom Holland's portrayal of Spider-Man. I think my favorite version of his Spider-Man so far has been in Civil War. To me the Russos understand Spider-Man better than John Watts, however both the Russos and Watts do deliver on the heroism factor that Andrew Garfield lacks. Spider-Man is more than relatability, he's to help inspire you to be a better person. Tom Holland's Spider-Man fully understands that he has to use these powers for good. We see it in Civil War and the ending of Homecoming. Tom Holland does a great job at both Peter and Spider-Man. However, he is not my favorite Spider-Man, at least right now. And coming in at number one, my favorite Spider-Man, no surprise to anyone, my favorite Spider-Man actor, Tobey Maguire. The Raimi films were my first introduction to Spider-Man and a big reason to why I'm here making this video today. What I see in Toby's portrayal of Peter and Spider-Man is someone who can inspire you to do the right thing when it's needed and try to be the best person you possibly can and take on responsibilities. He's just a guy trying to balance a job, school life, relationships, all on top of trying to defend the city even if it means missing a class or a date because it's the right thing to do and he knows he has to do it. Of all the actors on this list, I get the sense that Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker understands with great power the most. 
He doesn't want to do it, but he knows he has to do it. We see him feel guilty in Spider-Man 2 for not being able to help someone during the mugging, and he even risked his life to rescue someone out of a burning building because that's what he has to do. In my opinion, the most heroic Spider-Man out of all of these actors is Toby, and I don't know if it's just the music during the films, but to me it just motivates you to want to go out and help people. And while I am sitting here praising the heroism of Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, like the previous actors on this list, I do have some issues with his character. The only one really being that he's almost always serious as Spider-Man. The Raimi video game Spider-Man is what we should have seen in the films, and this kind of messed me up because now when people say Spider-Man has to tell jokes during fights, it's not necessarily something I think of Spider-Man doing since these films were my first exposure to Spider-Man. He does have some witty dialogue in Spider-Man 1 that I wish they kept throughout the entire series, but overall my favorite Spider-Man actor is Tobey Maguire. The way his character is portrayed inspires me to be a better person, and out of all the actors on this list, he gives off the most sense of heroism. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about my rankings, do you agree with any of the points I made, and how would you rank the Spider-Man actors from your least favorite to most favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe. Follow my social medias and I will see you guys again in my next video.